And as a historian working on uh, the past pandemics, primarily in, in the Ottoman context, what were your initial reactions when you first heard the news about the outbreak? Well, I announced it as a pandemic before WHO did um, because, you know, in my own way, at least in my own class, uh, because WHO was uh, absolutely extremely late in doing so. The reason actually I, you know, had an opportunity to watch this pandemic very closely is that this spring semester I was teaching a course on plague and pandemics. It was a very interesting and kind of learning experience for me to see how a global pandemic takes place in real time. And of course, this has implications to think about history and historical knowledge about pandemics, even though our knowledge is, of course, less than perfect when it comes to historical sources. One of the you know very interesting um, parallels or similarities at least for my purposes, was to um, see the initial slow but invisible spread of the disease, you know, which our historical sources sometimes fail to mention. But again, like even though we have much better, you know, um, technologies and possibilities to track information now, even we were not able to, to, to see. So it kind of makes us think about the disease as an entity but our knowledge about the disease, you know, as like two different, or like the the, um, the tension between the two, is, which I think is an important uh, question to think about. The outbreaks were pretty frequent. Every 10 years or so, uh, there was another major outbreak in uh, both the capital and uh, other provinces of the empire. Uh, how did the uh, Imperial Center uh, react to these outbreaks? Were there any particular measures they tried to implement in order to not maybe contain the disease uh, as it wasn't possible, uh, but uh, to alleviate the, 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 the level of uh, fatality rate. The past societies, you know, understand this as a struggle in the way we think about it. Well, I don't find this conceptual structure very helpful. Uh, in mm-hmm. the sense that I think this is there's a modern bias there. We are talking about a disease that is recurring at least every decade, which means that you are you have personal experience about it. You know it's going to come back. You know that there is a working knowledge within the society, but at the same time, of course, you know um, scholars were were discussing this problem. There are legal and medical discussions about it, and also the state, in terms of the measures it wanted to implement, there was an effort to um, understanding and uh, you know developing uh, a knowledge about it. We need to uh, keep in uh, to account how did they understand the disease because mm-hmm. that response can only be you know understood in that context and in fact one of the main medical uh, paradigms of the pre-modern world that is not limited to ottoman case was that diseases especially epidemic diseases uh, were caused by bad air when we look at most of the administrative legal regulations uh, that kind of you know we see during times of plague it is mo- mostly focused on clean air one typical struggle uh, of this process is to um, contain and control dead bodies during times of plague mm-hmm. because you know it was believed that dead bodies could um, emanate the uh, the miasma and contaminate the air so quick burial and burial outside of the cities is this one uh, manifestation of this this uh, idea of thinking about you know cleaning the air and protecting the living similarly clean water uh, was a source of concern and again Istanbul of course you know more more, more visibly but also in other um, urban areas of the city providing clean water uh, resources to to big cities especially was a uh, problem was a source of concern but at times of plague we see that there is a heightened um, anxiety about mm-hmm. you know uh, punishing those that were believed to cont- contaminating water resources. Let me continue with an even darker uh, uh, issue uh, of death. I mean the history of plague is in a sense history of death mm-hmm. uh, and you said uh, 
it was a, a, a very quotidian aspect of life. I mean, how did people conceive of such a fatal disease? I mean, what kind of notions of death were in circulation expressed by individuals from different walks of life? I mean, do we know anything about the perceptions of death written by Ottoman individuals? We do, and we have some literary sources at least that tell us about like emotions of individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes me think of uh, one of the earliest uh, poems that we have about the Black Death in, in Anatolia uh, by Shayat uh, Hamza. Uh, he lost several of his children during during the Black Death, right? And then mm -hmm. he talks about, you know, the agony of losing uh, children, I mean, his, his children to plague. And the way he talks about it, I found it very similar in the way he, he talks about his, his emotions to uh, a Welsh poet who was who composed a poem just about the time, the same time during the Black wow. Death, and he he lost several of his children to uh, to plague. It's of course extremely grim, uh, but at the same time there is a sense of um, I don't know how to put it without sound making it making the Ottoman society sound too fatalistic, but there is a sense of acceptance, uh, mm -hmm. but not resistance. The European accounts uh, are talking about the Ottoman um, individuals who understood this as something that came from God. I think that part they got it, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they uh, also interpret this as you know the society being as the Muslim society in general being fatalistic. You know that's the part that I have problem with because we have clearly plenty of evidence to 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 suggest that you know of course they did what they could uh and in a way when you look at the um all the measures you know that the state imposed and all the the ways in which individuals tried to deal with disease thing ranging with all forms of experimental treatments remedies and all the the medical effort well it's about the same everywhere right i mean mm -hmm. you know europeans were also doing similar things so everyone a response within the repertoire of the, the, the methods uh, available to them. It would be ridiculous to think of this as a kind of fatalism that pushed people mm -hmm. into inactivity and passivity in the face of this disease.